Today, I'm gonna to show you a very simple but effective trick to transform your drumming vocabulary. Let's get to it. What's up drummers? Welcome into today's lesson. My name is Dave Major. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you're brand new here, however, thank you for joining me. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you stick around and enjoy it. And if you do, please consider hitting subscribe, hitting the like button and sharing this video around because you know that it really does help. Let's get to the lesson though. Today, I want to talk about a topic that I love, which is subdivisions. Now subdivisions, if you don't know what they are, well, you're already playing them. They're your 16th notes, your quarter notes, your eighth notes. It's the way that we divide time. And as drummers, we tend to start at the quarter note and get smaller and smaller. But it's important to know that there are bigger subdivisions than quarter notes. There are half notes, there are whole notes, there are double whole notes, which are called briefs. You could probably even just tack another whole note on that and get even longer and longer. But as drummers, because we're not responsible for the sustain of our instrument, then we tend to start with quarter notes and just get smaller and smaller and smaller. However, there's only two that actually matter. And that is the two main subdivisions of the vast majority of the music that you will play. They are triplets, and 16th notes. Well, triplets over here, well, that is jazz, that is blues, that is shuffles. And then 16th notes is basically everything else. We've got our funk, we've got our drum and bass, we've got rock, pop, soul, metal, other types of metal that I don't know because I'm not cool enough. All those styles of music are based around the 16th note and then jazzy things are based around the triplets. So today the trick here, you've kind of alluded to it already, it is that we're gonna take stuff that is 16th notes and we're gonna make it triplets I'm gonna take triplet things and make them 16th notes. Now to start with, I'm gonna go with my favorite rudiment of all time, which is the paradiddle. The single paradiddle, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Usually because it's four notes long, right, left, right, right, it is played in 16th notes, but we're gonna put it into triplets. So to start with, let's start it on the snare drum. I'm gonna keep a quarter note left foot to keep you right and hear how those accents create this dragging back effect because you're accenting every fourth triplet. comfortable doing that, let's move it to the toms and start to create some different shapes and melodies. And finally, let's put it into a groove with a fill, and I'm going to play these as 16 note triplets because they sound a little bit better, but I am just thinking of them as 8th note triplets, this is fast. You can also do this process with drum kick rudiments. So let's try right, left, kick, kick. I'm gonna do it the same way. I'm gonna start it on the snare drum nice and slow, keep that quarter note left foot going. And then gonna move it to the toms, play around with the accents. And finally, I'm gonna put it in a groove and bump up the speed. Now let's just repeat the same process with a triplet rudiment. Let's try right, left kick. I think that's a really important thing you should dig into as a drummer. So now let's put it into 16th notes where it sounds so much cooler and so much more original than the growl fill, the bottom fill. Take that, place it into 16th notes and you can fit it four times into a bar of three, four. So it becomes one E and a, two E and a, three E and a. Again, I'm gonna keep a quarter note left foot and I'm gonna start it on the snare drum, use the toms and then try it a little bit faster in a groove.
finally, let's repeat that same process, but with a Swiss triplet, which is a flam followed by right, left. Usually played as triplets, very swingy, but now let's put it into 16th notes. You should definitely explore this with lots of different stickings. Any fours, threes, or even sixes that you know, put them into the opposite subdivision. The other one that you're definitely gonna play in 99.99% .99 of the music that you will play as a musician. If you've done all that, then explore quintuplets, then do septuplets, then try your metric modulations. But let's get the basic stuff done first, then we will be better musicians and make better music. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, guys. If you did, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, and I will see you next week for another drum lesson. Catch you later. Bye.